Yo guys, what's going on? Kaiju Chia. So today we're going to be talking about just, you know, loving yourself. Not so much as loving yourself, but, you know, just having fun with doing what you do. And I have something to tell you guys. I've never, never put so much effort into something in my life. Because every time I start like a job, I always get fired. No matter how long I work at that job, I always get fired. But the job that I have now at McDonald's, I'm proud of it. I want it to work out. I want to climb my way up the chain. Not so much as the chain. I don't want to become a manager or anything. I just... I can't handle the responsibility of being a, um, a manager because my position doesn't really have head maintenance people. And I admit, guys, I'm a custodian. But what I do with my money will blow your mind. And I admit, I spent way too much money, literally. And I only make so much a year. But that's this ain't about me. This is about you. So I see you over there. Look at you. Look at you looking sexy. Holy shit, is that a beer? I'm, I got that from Afro Century, <laughs> sorry. But literally. Dang, you looking sexy. Sorry, I'm not a flirt. That's my flirting face. If you ever see me flirting with my fiance, you 10 out of 10, you'll see me staring at her like. Or some shit like that. <laughs> Sorry about the awkward silence. It just seriously, that, that's my flirt face. Just hey, honey, come over here and let me put my Twinkie in your donut. <laughs> glaze, glaze donuts, donuts. Whoop, whoop. By the way, there's this thing on Facebook. It is, dude. I felt so bad about laughing because special needs are real. Like. People will encourage mentally ill people to do dumb shit. And then those mentally ill people, like especially uh, special needed kids or teenagers or adult young adults, they'll actually do it because they're pressured. And this dude, I felt so bad for laughing. I'm going to hell for this. And literally, he basically acted cool taking his shirt off and literally let this dude shoot him with a bottle rocket not a bottle rocket but one of them things that you light and it shoots the little phew, phew, phew. not and then he literally I felt so bad I, I'm so sorry like literally I don't know him and I would never know him, but literally, if I was there, I would slap some sense into him. Like, literally, like, you really gonna put yourself on social media getting shot with a firework. It's bad enough people in my state, in my city of Topeka, Kansas, over in the project type low income apartments, they were having a firework fight. And they managed to catch the fucking trash bin on fire twice before the 4th of July. It's crazy, guys. I don't know how people do it or not get caught doing it. But literally, even over here in the south, I'm always hearing... <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm being a stare. I'm, all I hear is... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I, I suck at ex doing what you call it, um, expressions. I, I suck at doing expressions. I'm sorry, but literally, guys, you just gotta love yourself, literally, because life is not gonna wait. This ain't no twilight bullshit. When you date a girl or end up, end up 
turning her into some psychopathic animal. Well, not animal, but might as well call it an animal, but demon or whatever. This is real life. People need to stop trying to actually be something they see on TV or hear. I'm a Christian, okay? I admit that. I don't care about the whole Satanist or atheist. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes, I'm not the perfect Christian. Yes, I be cussing. Yes, I don't actually clean up my room when I'm supposed to. As you can see, I'll even show you. See? And it's tough. Okay? Literally. I'm a fucked up person when I want to be. But literally, guys, with that all that being said, guys, I'm a Christian. Like, my faith, I'm a. I believe in God. I may say I don't sometimes, but that's just to actually feel. Okay, let me admit this to you. The reason why I say I'm not a man of God in front of some people is because I. That's my tool to understand who they are. Like, it's a trick I use to actually get into people's heads. Because I'm a Virgo, so I can do that. That's my power, you know? So. You know, it's people say stop living on zodiac sign. You know, talking about the zodiac sign made them do it. It's not. That's it, bullshit. Literally, I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm a Virgo. Is my personality is basically based off my basically zodiac signs are real. Like, this ain't no coexist shit. This ain't no demon shit. This ain't no hell shit. This is strictly Elijah John Ray. Um, my zodiac sign is a bear. And I'm also a woman. Literally, it is strange. I don't know. But something in me always encourages me to do better. And when I don't do good, I get punished. And I know it sounds strange, but it. I don't know. Like, literally, it, it's hard to explain, so I'm not going to explain. If you want to know about it, just look up Virgo on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere you can type in Virgo. But don't believe all the shit you be saying. Like, Virgo hates being around people or Virgo hates attention seekers and shit. Like, don't read into that that's just bullshit literally I don't hate people I just hate their ways and I hate the fact that people manipulate and just draw a line and then keep stepping over it drawing another line step over that one draw another line and then they get so with far with those lines that they are forced to tell the truth. What I mean by that, I know I keep talking about different things, but literally, this has to relate to what I'm saying. If you can actually rewatch this video from scratch, you understand what I'm saying. So go ahead and listen to that again. And what I mean by they draw so many lines is that. Then they're forced to tell the truth. Then I mean, because they're okay. Beggars can't be choosers, and liars will always get exposed. I admit that I lied in the past. I lied that I was a singer. I got so many people excited for me. You know, I just trying to live a different life than what I was. I was always getting bullied. I was always getting teased. I was always getting cheated on. I was always called a loser and shit in high school and middle school mostly elementary and middle school high school it got a little better because I started to realize who I wanted to be and not what everyone else wanted me to be one specific person wanted me to be some little bitch to him him and his brother both put hands on me and literally tortured me with their hands no gay shit no sexual shit I mean literally beat me dead and so I couldn't take no more and I try to defend myself every time I defended myself and actually stood up for myself one of them stood up for that person even though they are bullying me 
that person stood up for him and literally tried to fight me all the time. Like, how are you going to bully me, but when I stand up for myself, you still try to come at me? That's strange. Like, I don't get it. Like, but any guys, I'm going to end this little vlog. Everyone stay tuned for more. I'll see you there.